In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an animation using a drawing. So I am just have a canvas. Again, this depends on the size that you want. I'm going to come over to my paintbrush. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw two other circles. Now, because I'm going to pan my nose, I'm going to do this as a smiling to frowning. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Uh, and I would suggest doing what you want as your background in one uh, image, then duplicating and just making changes on the next one that you deem necessary. So I'm going to hide these layers and I'm going to work on my bottom layer. And I'm simply going to come here for a smiley face. I'll hide this layer, go to my middle layer. Oh, I was on the wrong layer, making sure that I'm on the right layer. Uh, straight faced. And I'm going to come here and I will do my frowning face again making sure that you're working on the layer that you want to so we can see those layers are all there now I can go to filters here animate and playback I can change my frames per second here or the speed of the playback here as well um, and then I can hit my play and we can see that I have my straight face to the frowning face now there's a few things I can do with this I'm going to come to animation. I'm going to optimize this for my GIF. And what you're going to see it does, it takes apart the image to only be for that of the animation. So when I come up here now, I can file. Again, I want to export this as. I want to change the file extension to a GIF, G-I-F. Uh, I'm going to turn off the comment as an animation. And again, I can specify uh, if I haven't already specified here, the frame rate per second. Now, I often do it here if I'm keeping all the frames exactly the same. So then I just simply export this and it would play as a GIF. The other thing that you can do up here is I can edit my layer attributes. And you're going to notice, because I'm dealing with a GIF on this one, uh, I can change the amount of time I want between. Uh, Again, I can do this with parentheses. So even if I come back to my original image, I'm going to close out of this really quick. And come back here to my original image. I'm going to edit my layer attributes. I can throw a parentheses and put 200 milliseconds behind it. And I'm defining that layer on an animation, how long it's going to be. Uh, the easier way to do this if all your layers are the same is when I go to that export, I can just say if the layer is undefined, have this amount of time between uh, each of the animations. But if you're having layers that will show for different lengths of time, or, uh, you might want to consider doing it here instead. So again, this allows us to then uh, play this back. And we can see it here. Again, I can change in the animation the length. But I want to define the layers when I want to export this or is there so I have that uh, GIF at the rate that I want to as an exported file, not just a GIF. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to take existing images and make an animation rather than just drawing it.